Hey everyone, this is Mike from the One Stop Co-op Shop, and today I'm playing Race to the Raft. This is a solo and cooperative game set in the same universe as the Isle of Cats game, and I'll be doing a double solo playthrough of this one because each play is pretty quick, first with a really basic scenario and then with one of the more advanced scenarios to show the extra rules that get added. And disclaimer that I did get a review copy of this one. If you like the content on the One Stop Co-op Shop, consider supporting us through Patreon. You get early access to our videos and exclusive videos every month you can't see anywhere else. You can also check out a separate streaming channel for even more content, listen to our weekly podcast, or join the conversation on our Discord. So Race to the Raft is structured as campaigns with just really basic setup rules for each scenario, and then like different rules for how the cats have to get there and that kind of stuff. And there are a ton of these scenarios in the book, I think uh, 80 of them or so. But the core idea of each scenario is always the same. You're trying to get all of the cats on the board. In this case, I have red, purple, orange, and green. And you want to get them to the raft, which is over here to their respective space. But the catch is they can only move on squares that match their color orthogonally. So right now, purple, I guess red could get to there. <laughs> but uh, orange and green are totally blocked off. And what you'll be doing each round is drawing these cards, and they have different uh, sets of probabilities for each terrain type. So this one, you know, is mostly going to be red and blue with some yellow and green. This one's going to be mostly purple and yellow with some blue, green, and a bit of red. You get the idea. And then you'll be playing those boards in whatever orientation you want directly on the playmat to create paths for your cats to move around. And you can also discard the cards to actually move the cats themselves. And of course, once you actually get them to the raft, that's the whole point of the game. But meanwhile, you start with some fire on the island. Some cataclysm is destroying it. And each time you place a card to create a path, you have to draw a random fire tile from this big bag. And you have to place it somewhere, but you lose if you totally block off your cats or if you can't fit the fire. So uh, things get tenser and tenser as we go. But that's basically it. I'll explain a few more things for the second play through the uh, advanced mode. But let's get into Race to the Raft. So in cooperative play, you each get three cards, and then you can kind of discuss with some limited communication what you're going to play. In solo play, you instead get three cards for yourself and three for sort of a dummy hand. And each time you use one of your own cards, you have to take a card from the dummy hand. So you're playing six cards a turn, basically. Now looking at this, I've got green, orange, purple, and red. And the only one I have a limitation on is that orange has to be last. That's why I've put this little four uh, icon here. And green's kind of the most limited where you can go along with orange. Purple's got two different spots to go to, so they're not too bad. And then red's a pretty straight quick shot, which makes me think maybe I focus on purple and red first. Try to like get them out of the way so that I have this entire top half of the board to just burn. <laughs> and then uh, I can focus on green and yellow last, maybe. So looking at the cards, uh, these ones are nice, this square pile, because they have every color I want and just a bit of blue I can't use. But this one's also not too bad. It does have a lot of blue that won't be helpful, but it uh, has every color I want except purple. And again, I kind of want to get red out of the way first. So I don't know, let's do like two of these for me and two of these for the dummy hand. And let's scoot the camera over a smidge so you can see that. And then um, let's also do, let's do some purplage as well. All right, so I get to flip these over and, you know, there's no guarantee you'll get the things you want. But here, two of them are indeed very red heavy. And the last one is better for purple or yellow. And you can totally like put them down any way you want. The only thing you can't do is you can't slide them under a previously placed card and you can't put them over a cat or over fire. So like if I did that, I mean, that gets me almost all the way there in one go. Yeah, seems like a good start to me. So I've now created a red path almost all the way to the thing there. And I bet I can, yeah, oh no, I won't be able to finish that off. Uh, I can't go off the board. Okay, I'll have to look at that in a second. But now, like I said at the beginning, each time I place a uh, tile, a card, I have to draw some flame and I have to put it out. Um, yeah, It seems like red will get out very easily. Well, I don't want to block my options for putting down a card. Let's go like that to start out. It does have to be orthogonally adjacent to existing fire, so fire will always spread from other fire. But yeah, that seems uh, pretty solid to me, I think. And now I have to take one of the uh, AI's cards. So let's see if they have that. Uh, that's not any red. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I don't, I don't think there's any way without we actually moving the cat. I can't overlap the raft card at all either, which is this entire one. Yeah, there's no way for me to complete this right now, which makes me think maybe I'll do something else first and then come back to it. Now, what I could do is I could move the red cat as far as I got. Oh, but then I wouldn't be able to put the card over him. Yeah, so let's see what that other red card is in a moment. Uh, for now, I will... 
I guess yellow is the best I can do, or orange. It's like yellow t uh, spaces, but orange cat. Um, let's go. I guess it doesn't much matter, does it? But working a bit more directly towards the bottom right we need to go to. I will place that out. And here comes the flame. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, all right. Let's, uh, that should be pretty innocuous. I'm kind of blocking my, my purple options. Yeah, actually, let's do it like that since I've already gotten yellow a little bit away. And let's draw my last maybe red card. Uh, it's not going to do it either. Okay, so if I did like that and then, <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's any way to do it. Oh, if I did it like, no, that wouldn't work either. What I could do is like something like that and then add it. Okay, gosh, it's going to. Had so much fire. This is uh, an inefficient way to do things. But let's go like that first. All right. And then, oh, that's a big one. Okay. Um, all right. I can go down the middle here and kind of work toward red's area. Right. And then I'll take this last card, which also has no red, although I have a lot more orange. But that's the last one I want to do. So it's not helpful, Mike. Um, I want to move red. So what you do when you want to move a cat is you discard any card. I'll discard this blue one. It's basically useless. Uh, one card will move the cat. And you can move them as far along their path as you want. Here I'm trying to get him just out of the way to still allow me to play the red card Legam to Freedom. And then you lay them down. So actually I just realized I had them uh, <laughs> laying down already. Yeah, and then you lay him down. So now he's exhausted. I would have to spend uh, two cards instead of one to be able to move him again in the same round. He'll stand up at the end of the round once all the cards are gone. And you do have to keep the uh, cards you've played to move in like their own little pile. That's called your disaster pile. And whenever four cards go in there, you discard, or four or more, I should say, you discard four of them and you have to draw a fire. So usually you don't draw a fire for moving cats, but uh, if you build up enough, you do. Uh, so speaking of, I want to play this one in a second, but first I'm going to move the orange cat as far along the path as they can. And then to finish up the first round, I'll play this. So I'll be able to get the uh, red cat out in a second. And now with both of them out of the way, hopefully this new fire I have to place uh, won't be too problematic. Sadly, I can't fit it up there. Fit it here. I can go like that. Yeah, that's probably about the best I'm going to get for uh, <laughs> Orange's uh, little area over there. So that is the end of a round, which means I stand all the cats back up and we do it over again. And again, if it was a cooperative, the only difference would be that we would each have a hand of three cards and we could talk sometimes, but not about everything. Basically, you can't like share exactly what's on your cards and you can't tell people where to place things while it's actually their turn to place. And you have to like cooperatively decide who's going to place the next card. It's a pretty straightforward. All right. So I don't need a single more red card. So these are kind of dead to me unless I want a yellow and green. But clearly that's a better yellow and green option. Um, See, so yeah, I think I want to get some purple yellow with green too. These are pretty great right now. Um, and let's get one more yellow green focus. And let's do the same thing again for the, uh, the AI. All right. Well, not the AI, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Okay, so first thing I want to do, are any of these terrible? Not really. I've got some solid purple here. Like that is pretty good. Well, I guess the first thing I want to say is, do I want to trash one of these to get red to safety? Um, this green one's actually perfect to get green and out, because that's the only way for them to get out. Although this one's also good. I don't want to trash any of these, so let's wait until I get a worse card. Here comes the flame. I gotta get something that fits up there. Um, huh. That's not too bad, right? We just got uh, orange out of there. Is there any better spot for this? Nah, I like that. <laughs> Let's do a little bit of that. There we go. All right, I'm going to take one of these. Um, I mean, orange, I kind of want to hang out for now. Green, I got a lot. Let's take the other one that's mostly going to be green. Oh, that's not green. <laughs> um, orange is last. And I do want to get red out of here to give me full, like, range of motion. So I'm going to discard this as my third disaster card and get red to safety. So now I can freely burn this whole area. No fire from that yet. Then I'm going to... Oh, wait, I got to draw a card. That's right. Uh, here we go. Gosh, all this orange. Um, I got to do that. Okay. And let's see. That's pretty good, though. Is that the best I want to do? I don't know if I'll ever fill that again if I do it like that. Ooh, I mean, this is really good. And I've already got purple past that spot, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay with that. All right. And okay. So it looks like green or purple purple i could go like if that's the best i can do that would get them pretty far um the green one i mean that's just excellent i can get them really far along yeah let's do that one first and then maybe move them in a second because again i need more uh spaces to put yes can i come on oh actually yeah i'll take that <laughs> again i don't know if i'll ever get anything that like fits directly in that narrow spot up there so i'm okay with that and then i'm gonna trash the orange card because again i know oh that's right 
I'm going to have to place a fire after I do this. But let's get green all the way um, going up here or up here, I guess. Just for like more options without having to go off the board. And then these four, now that I've reached four, get discarded. And we do have to do a flame in this case as well. Ooh, okay. Here. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Red's already safe, right? Although I don't want to block purple too much. Purple can come from the side. Uh, yeah, let's maybe be smarter and put it here for now. I like that. Okay, my last card. I think I do want to get purple going even farther. I'll put it there. And we can really get them out of there in a second. Ooh, okay. Oh, man. No, it doesn't fit. Darn, that would have been perfect. Um, <laughs> yeah, we can just keep on burning red's area over here, I think. Sure, that works. All right, that's the end of another round. So, uh, oh, I forgot to knock people down when I moved. I think I only moved red or green, I mean. So what do I need most? I really want green. Purple just needs to move. Um, and I could get orange farther, although purple and orange are going to kind of be getting in the way in green, so I really got to finish up green. Yeah, let's draw, honestly, like three of these because they have some a lot of yellow and or orange and also purple. And um, we'll get like a purple focus, a couple purple focus ones in there. And then uh, one more of these. All right. So, okay. We got one strong green, but hey, it does work. Oh, yeah, I guess that one works too. Um, so if I go like that first, do I want to move purple first? Kind of think I do. Um, going to ditch this orange focus card. Get purple all the way down there. And then with more space to place fire, I'll put this green card down. Oh, whoops. I should draw first. Uh, let's get the other. Nice, nice. Okay. Do I want to do like that? That does make a difference. Uh, I feel like I'll do this one first, and then I could do like that. And that okay, yeah, so these three will get green to the exit. That's good. But yeah, so what did I say? This one first. All right, fire, work with me. Oh, man. Darn it, that would have been literally the perfect shape. Um, How about I could go like up here with purple? It's probably about the best I'm going to get. Okay. Gosh, still not getting any purple. Okay, and then I wanted to do that. And, oh, that's right, I gotta lay purple down. Uh, where's this gonna go? Ah, darn it. Okay, could put it right up here. Yeah, you know what, that's actually a pretty nice spot, not wasting too much space. Still no purple from the mostly purple focus cards, that's not great. Uh, but we'll go like that, so we can at least start getting orange uh, there once green's out of the way. And, hmm, where's this gonna go? Kinda seems to fit really well here, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, that's beautiful. Okay, and then I do want to discard a card, and I'm going to get orange going. That's a perfect one for orange, so I'll discard this one to move green. Green is now safe. I guess we can just get rid of them, right? Bye-bye. <laughs> and for my last actual card placement, I'll go there. And, oh, it's a really nice one. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Actually, I can fit it like, in almost any of these places, but yeah, we'll do this one for now. I love that piece. All right, we got two more cats to get out, and purple has to be before uh, orange. So this, I mean, this is like the deck, right? <laughs> I'm just doing three, three, three. Because these should be the cards I want. Um, woo. Okay. Well, let's start with orange. That's what I want to do. So I guess like that will work. And then fire is coming to kill all the cats. Um, this. Yeah, it seems pretty solid there. And yeah. Okay. Yellow. Um, yeah, it seems like it could be okay. Let's do that. Think about moving you in a second. Aren't you another small one? Uh, can you? Yes, yes, yes. Mur, 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 into red land. I love those like free fire placements where you never. Th Ooh, okay, okay. So I got to do purple now because <laughs> nothing works. Um, can that combine? No, it's gonna mess it up, right? Uh, crud. What if I do like that now? That that no. Um, I did that and then that. No, that wouldn't work unless I moved them first. I did it like that. Ooh, there we go. I don't even need this long one. Okay, so let's do that. So I'll place this one there first. Okay. No, we're not doing that. Oh my gosh. Uh, this one? Yeah, that works. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Okay, cool. And that's right. I want to do purple before orange. So me trying to like do all the orange cards was not necessarily the best idea. There we go. Okay, so that will get purple out in a moment. Uh, so let's draw fire again first. There's not much room left on this island. Can I get it? Oh, wait, I, that would block purple up. Um, ah, it's a perfect shape fit, but it would definitely not make Orange's day. Um, did it like up? Yeah, that's not too bad, right? Okay, and then discard this one because it has no yellow on it to move. Oh, that's right, they're standing up. Purple to safety, yay! And then only Orange, who has to be fourth, is left, and... Yeah, I still don't have 
the right card to get them out. So, you know, I'm just going to discard this and move them all the way to here. That is a fourth one. So it will do some fire, but yeah, I think we'll have a pretty easy, this is like a super easy scenario that I showed the first time, by the way. Uh, the next one will be more complicated. So let's go to the final round. And yeah, I'm just going to get six of these because they have the highest probability out of all of the uh, cards of having orange on them. And there we go. That's the winner. Get on the boat. Get to the chopper. Do it. Okay, there we go. Orange is safe. Woo! -hoo. That was a very simple race to the raft scenario. Now I'm going to set up for one of the advanced mode ones and just kind of explain the extra rules that come in. I'm still not great at the game, so I'm not going to do like the most advanced mode one, but I'll show you a basic one that you can do. All right, and here we go. Uh, let's talk about the advanced rules. So there's a whole like second set of scenarios that use the advanced rules. Uh, this is still not a really tough one, so I uh, expect to win. We'll see. But uh, it does show off like most of the new things. So first of all, we still have red and uh, purple hanging out, but we have two Oshaks cats this time. And they only move along white paths. You see they have a few there. They have a few here where they're supposed to come back to. And while those paths can show up in any deck, they are most common in the triangle deck. There you go. And, oh my gosh, it looks like it's going to be complicated. <laughs> so these will allow you to move the Oshaks along those paths. I've got two of them in this scenario, so it should be uh, extra exciting. Another thing, and this actually comes out pretty quickly in the tutorial, so technically I should have had them in the last one. You have these three water tokens, and you can discard them to get rid of a fire tile from the island. Uh, they affect your final score. There is a way to score. I didn't do that for the first one, but I'll uh, do my score at the end of this one so you can see how it works. Another big change is in the advanced rules, when you move a cat, you can only move them up to five spaces at a time, which means that's going to be more important to kind of be moving all my cats a bit instead of just rushing one to the end necessarily. Also, whenever a cat reaches the raft, you either get to draw a free card to your hand or move a cat five for free, or up to five, I should say. And then finally, from now on, when you uh, fill up the disaster pile, which is when you have uh, the four cards or more there, instead of just placing a fire tower, you're going to draw from this disaster deck, and they're going to do things like, you know, make you place extra fires or make you move kittens in ways you might not want to. So just some extra things. Again, this is not when you just place a, a card on the board. It's specifically when you build up to four or more of those disaster cards uh, from moving cats. All right, so uh, let's jump in. I feel like I really want to go heavy Oshaks at first. And this also has a lot of purple, so that seems uh, pretty good. But then let's get a bit of red and one more of those uh, hanging out in my draw pile. And huh, oh my gosh, this is wacky. Um, <laughs> so I could move purple with this pretty well. Um, maybe like get them going. But then, ooh, this one seems really good for the first Oshaks up here. Yeah, because that sends them like directly the way they need to be going. So let's do that for my first placement. Yeah, this is already stressing me out. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful first draw, though. Oh my gosh, can I really? Yeah. Hi. Let's do that. <laughs> Just get get used to the uh, get used to the fire, buddy. Um, okay. And then that would let me. Well, that's right. I, I want to get each cat like to five or so. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay, so that would be enough for that Oshax to move their max. Not their max. Remember, you can move somebody more than once a turn, but it's just going to be more and more expensive to do so. F. I get an F for failure. And all right, I'll draw one of these. Oh, gosh. That's a good movement card right there. You know, let's just do it now. So that's my first uh, disaster pile card. Here, I'll put the water in between to differentiate which is which better. And I'll go one, two, three, four, five. All right, then. Lay you down, buddy. But you bought me some space. Right then. Ooh, that's a nice, uh, really nice red one there. That's right. Red is last, but I do want to be like moving them, you know, five spaces when I can. It's the big difference in the advanced mode. That one, well, I don't want to necessarily move that Oshax anymore, but I don't have another good Oshax card. So this Oshax might just not be moving it, but I do want to get purple going. Um, Sure. Let's do it like that. Then they can go one, two, three, four. Yeah, they can get pretty far. On some more fire. Okay. Ooh, that's a nice fit there for that little cross. Beautiful. And yeah, these don't excite me much. They don't even have like an entrance. I guess it's good if you like overlap it with another card after. Um, so let's let's discard that to move purple. One, two, three, four, five. Max we can go. And then I'll end by I guess I'll get a little bit out of the Oshax way. We'll put red's a little path there. And last fire for the first round. That seems pretty good, right? Yeah, I like that. We kind of filled uh, or emptied some space out for purple there. All right, no disaster yet. Let's go to the next round. Um, definitely want to get the second Oshax moving. Red's got one, two, three, four. Yeah, Red's got a nice path. It looks down our cats up. Red's got a good path forward, so I really just want to 
I mean, I'll still do like a similar thing to what I did last time. A little bit of red and, oh, that's right. But red is last. So now, you know, I'm going to do <laughs> almost all of these. Two waiting over there and three here. And then it's a single red card. Okay, that's a good purple one. Um, ooh, I can get the Oshax a little bit of the way. God, these paths are tough to make work, aren't they? Probably a smarter person would find some cool way to like make purple and the Oshax move at the same time. I am not that person. But yeah, let's uh, let's get a little bit of movement to start out right there. And the good thing is I do at least have a lot of places to put the fire down. Uh, yeah, it only cuts off their original spot. Let's get... Ooh, that's a nice path. Ah, oh, but it's not really going... That's great, better, way better for this one. Yes, we're going to ignore the other Oshaks for a second. This guy's almost uh, home, isn't he? So here comes more fire. This seems, yeah, I like that. It's pretty perfect. Um, let's keep on ignoring red. <laughs> Although I do want to move them at some point. That's a good purple one. Oh my gosh. Yes, we needed that card. That was a, ooh, can I like, yeah, we can. Look, getting double duty out of this card, potentially at least. I love that. All right, but then I got to be moving people soon-ish. Nope, that would cut off his path. Darn it. Oh, here, I can do... Yeah. Hey, Oshax, don't mind the flame. <laughs> You're doing fine. All right, um, that's a useless card. Cool, so let's let's move somebody. Uh, you can move the full five. All right, uh, let's get this, Oshax. They're the closest to the beginning. One, two, three, four, five. Lay him down. Yeah, and the only other, like, truly useful card I have... I mean, that's not bad, right? That could get me into a pretty solid spot for next time. Um... Any way for me to now? I can't really get a super purple explosion going on here. Although I could do that and then like move purple. I also could move red. They haven't moved yet. Or get this Oshax out of flame land. Either way, I think we're going to get our first uh, disaster card. So yeah, let's go like that, I think. Place that for purple to move. Seems like, oh my gosh, is this? Yes, I love you. You fit so perfectly. You complete me, fire piece. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, I don't think this is fine, but it's not like important fine. So let's use that to move uh, purple because, yeah, that'll open up this whole spot. And I kind of want to get purple out of the way of the Oshak. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, man, he's like still right in there. Okay, but now we aren't drawing a fire. We're doing a disaster card. Let's see what happens. Move all cats two spaces. Cats can move in any direction. If a cat can move only one space, then move it one space instead. If a cat cannot move, it does not move. All right, but I have to move them two, even if like it's not an ideal two. Actually, I think it only helps me. Two, two, yeah, two, and oh. Um, I think I have to move them backwards because I have to use the two movement. I don't think you can like repeat movement. Let me check that. Yeah, pretty sure I got that right. It says you can't like move on the same space and all this stuff. Okay, and then I got to place one fire tower. So that was actually better than <laughs> a normal disaster in that case. Except for the one Oshex. Yeah, I think I like that the best. Let's do that. Sorry, buddy. You got pushed back and now fire is biting at your face. But we're okay. Let's go. All right. Um, Purple's almost out. Got to get the Oshex going a bit more, but they're doing pretty well. Red's actually got a decent path along the way. So I'm in a pretty solid spot. So yeah, let's keep, uh, keep abusing these. I need to get three of them. Uh, and then two, and well, let's, let's do two reds in case they're helpful. All right. Um, do, 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 do. These are interesting. They're none that do like a middle path. Oh my gosh. So Shaxx, who got pushed back is in nasty land. Well, hopefully the other card will help them out. Cause I don't think anything else is going to, Ooh, that gets my Oshax. Yeah, I think that would do it. A two card combo to get in there and it would like oh man it would leave purple with a decent spot that i could finish oh my gosh okay this is great that's what's happening okay we're doing that first yeah i got enough fire placement spots to be pretty safe nah. oh what if i flip it yeah that's pretty good sorry again uh oh shacks in red for burning you but they, they got paths out of there so we're fine okay give me that other card. okay good that it's still not actually that that would work at least i don't know these are not great um but i don't i i want to where was it? That? No. What was it? This one, right? Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Boom. So I've got a path for Oshax 1, and I've almost got a path for Purple that would be complete with that. So I can get two cats out in pretty short order. And remember, I get a five extra movement if I want whenever I do that. Okay. It's not too bad. Let's go there. Now the question becomes, where can I get other people? That's still not going to help you. <laughs> got these paths I got for the Oshaks are not my favorite. Yeah, and that would block him off. Come on, dude. That one might be the best I can do. Um, that's not going to mess up purple. Oh, that's the purple card. No, I got another one like that. Okay. 
So I want, I want to have uh, one, two, three, four, five. I want to have at least five movement for this Oshak. So let's put that there. Start moving people in a sec. Um, that fits in pretty well there. Okay. That's a great movement card. Let's go ahead and use that. Let's move one, two, three, four, five. And actually, I don't even mess up the Oshaks when I get purple. Can purple get out? Yes, they can. Ooh, okay. So let's put that down. Feeling like I'll be okay now. Again, this is an easier advanced scenario. It's not like hard. It's just adding the extra rules. Oh, that would have maybe fit in well there. Um, I don't see an awesome one for this. I guess this isn't too bad. Okay, then for my last card, I'm going to move purple. One, two, three, four, five. Completed. I get a free five move. Um, and I guess it can it be anybody? Yeah, I think it can be any cat, even one that's already moved this turn. Yep, definitely says that. So I'll move. I mean, I could do like a dual thing, but now nah, I want to get him out of here, so. One, two, three, four, five. All right, beautiful. So we are in a nice spot, I think. Let's uh, go to the next round. And yeah, once again, I'm gonna do like four of these and a few reds, assuming everything works out. That's pretty good. Well, I really, he's going in the wrong direction. <laughs> um, so, I love, I mean, that one's pretty crud, right? Unless, okay, if I went like that, that, ah, I got a turn. Okay, um, I'm not like loving this card. So let's discard that to move. Oh, I don't have anyone else to move the full five yet. Don't do that yet. Don't do that yet. Okay, let's let's do this. It's not an ideal card, but I think it's the best I have at the moment. Okay, where are you going to go? You like that? Now give me my last maybe good Oshak's card. <sighs> at least that's a turn. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay, that works. Whatever. Um, so I'm going to discard, which one was it? This one. Let's move one, two, three, four, five. And that's right. I actually do need to leave the cats here when it's two of the same type because I can't use that for the other Oshak. So I get an immediate uh, five move or draw. I'm going to do two, three, four, five. That move. And then I think I'm... Oh, I got to draw a card. Um, okay, yeah, we're definitely... I mean, red, I'm not really worried about. I'm worried mainly about Oshak's number. Stupid over here. Ooh, that was a good one. There we go. That gets us very close to there. We gotta do the fire for it. All right, and then, oh man, this red card actually is really good for the pathing. Path or maybe it's not good in the slightest. Yeah, forget that. <laughs> Gosh, ooh, this one though, that's perfect almost. Let's, I think together, yeah, 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 I think this works. Let's do that. Did I actually move that Oshax or did, like should they be laying down? I think they were moved by that guy. Well, you know, I'm not sure, so we'll just leave him laying down and uh, hope for the best. That was a great draw, though. Go up here. And then, yeah, I think that does it, right? Yeah, yeah, that, that would give me a full, complete path for the Oshaks. Boom. And where are you going, Mr. Fire? You still don't fit. <laughs> um, that's probably good. Okay, I double-checked. It does say you can move an exhausted cat, but it also says that moving any cat will exhaust them if they aren't already. So I do not have the two cards required to move them. Uh, so whatever. Like That's so barely useful. I'm going to discard it, my fourth disaster tile, to move red as far as it'll go. And sure, let's put uh, purple back just so we remember. And we got to draw another one of these. Move one fire tile to a new location. If this is not possible, the tile must cover as few squares from its previous location as possible. My gosh, that seems like, like almost nothing. That could help us out. Uh, but for now... Oh, no, let's take this one and move it to... Ah, the cards! <laughs> no! What happened? Oh, God, where were we? Uh, it was like that? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so actually, I'm thinking sometimes, or a lot of the time, maybe even these disaster cards are not as bad as this drawing fire. Okay, we go into the final round. Stand up and be counted. So all we need is red, right? So I'm just boom, 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 boom. Because, uh, yeah, the Oshax already has a path. It's going to take one, two, three, four, five. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, so if I can move them normally first, then get red a path, get red in, that'll give them the final movement. So this should be a pretty straightforward. Yeah, and I was going to say, there's got to be a billion ways to get red those last three spaces. Okay, so, oh my God, I'm messing up all my cards. There we go. And I think this should be one, two punch of done. Um, do, 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 do. There's on fire behind you, cat. Um, all right, and I get a card. I don't care. I'm going to discard a card. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Lay down. I'm going to discard a card. One, two, three, four. Yay! Free movement. Yay! Everyone is happy. <laughs> All right. So uh, that was, again, an easy. I'm not playing on the harder difficulty things. Like, that was, a, I think, a one star or a two star. And they go up to five stars. An easy advanced scenario just to take it lightly on myself while filming, but still show you how the game works. That's pretty much all the rules. Uh, sometimes you'll have a catch where they have to stay within a certain distance of each other 
or they have to like arrive the same turn. So you have to have the second one within five so that it can use the bonus movement. So they do add more complications for how the cats arrive. Oh, let me do the score. That's right. Oh, geez. That was way less complicated than I thought. Okay. So you get five points if you win and you lose one point for each water you used. So I got five. <laughs> That's it. I thought it'd be more like complex like how much fire you had or how much disasters you had but yeah that was it so that's race to the raft and solo play again you can do cooperative where you have like limited communication and stuff i should have a review for this one in a week or two but hope you enjoyed good gaming everyone and i'll see you at the next stop